Stockbo here. For those who don't know, I am an old financial advisor and educator. Now I do this YouTube thing. All I ever ask, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, take advantage of the Neo Share below, free Neo Share. All you gotta do is put a dollar into the Moo Moo link down below or more. Deposit 100 or more, you get a free share of Xpeng. Of course, take advantage of the Gemini link. Get $20 in free Bitcoin for trading $100 or more. And more importantly, they got Sandbox over there, which is one of my favorite meta plays moving forward. Now, some people in the comments in the last video said, hey, they got meta, they got Sandbox over there. You can have it over there, but you can't buy it over there. You can't buy it and sell it at Coinbase yet. So once you can, I'm excited to see this thing probably get up, probably double. But right now, Robinhood, Weeble, and Coinbase, you cannot buy or sell it. And so that's something I'm pointing out. If you look at Sandbox today as well, 5.12% up in the last 24 hours. Uh, this year alone, almost 1,000% now. It keeps going higher and higher. I know it was like 800 and something percent just a little bit ago I was showing you. Now it's almost up to 1,000. Like I said, I do believe this thing has hit its base. It's going to continue higher. That is my take on this, and so that's how I'm kind of playing it. And the last thing, of course, we're going to go over some of the we're going to go over some of the portfolios real quick. But if you haven't done it, come on over to the Patreon. We got great things going on over there. The buys and sells I'm doing, the portfolios, and of course, just the private Discord community with thousands of members. Very positive place. And as you can see, VOO right now, it was a good day. We're going to take a look at the portfolio or the. Uh, the, the markets, but it's, it's a good day. And we've seen some green out there. It was actually a strong rally here, at least what I'm making this video. And uh, I think the market the markets are closed now. So 2.13% up for VOO, continuing higher. Remember, these were all red at one point. I think every single one was red. Now you're seeing every single one up with the exception of three. The overall market is still down 5.3% from the beginning of the year. So most people, if you, do, if you don't dollar cost average to help reduce the risk, you're down and you're seeing that. You're still down for the year. If you've been dollar cost averaging and doing this $100 a week challenge with me, we are now up money. We're up 2.13%. Remember, I'm gonna do this $100 a week forever. As long as I can do it while I'm on YouTube, you're gonna see this happening. And you're gonna watch real, uh, real money being made in this market. I'm really excited about that. So 2.13%. Uh, the conservative portfolio, 1.16. It's actually underperforming. I'm gonna have to take a look. I'm not disappointed because this is gonna get a lot of dividends. I have a lot of big dividend plays in here. And so that should boost this up as they're being paid out. Uh, also, YouTube aggressive, 1.24. Now outperforming the conservative. And I would expect this to go multiples of whatever we do with the, with the regular VOO. We got hit pretty bad the first four out of five weeks going with uh, Tesla and DraftKings and Neo and SoFi. So we'll see how that, we'll, we'll continue to take advantage of the long-term gains. Of course, the portfolio I said would either absolutely dominate or get crushed the worst. And there was no doubt in my mind, it's gonna be the, the crypto portfolio. Crypto is going to easily outperform the overall market or it's gonna be in last place. It's either first or last. You know, it reminds me of Talladega Nights, you know? If you're not first, you're last. That's kind of how it's gonna be for the crypto portfolio. And yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. Uh, anyway, so I have a lot of other portfolios over there. The leverage, the dividend, the new dividend, the 2022, the overall. Come on over and join me. And plus the overall crypto, man, that is something else. As this goes higher, so does that one. And I have hundreds of thousands in that one. That one is crazy. But I do believe it's gonna do very well in the long run. I believe it's gonna create generational wealth. Now, now, as we look at the, what do we got here? The markets, they closed. The Russell, 1%, NASDAQ again leading. Now, the good news is I got the triple leverage and I do have that TQQQ, which is big for me. I like what we're seeing there. Um, but I have URTY as well, which is the Russell. So a little disappointed there. I thought this thing would be leading out of it, but that goes to show you, not, not all good plans are going to execute like we want. And VIX continuing to get hammered down, which is good news for investors. Volatility is dropping. I think people are starting to realize, hey, the, we did hit the bottom when we expected to, what I've kept telling you about. You know, I said, this is going to be it, and it is. And I think now you're starting to see retail finally getting in and missing out on a lot of money that's already been made. And that's why I said it's hard to time the market, not impossible, but, it's next to impossible, all right? Unless you got one of them little crystal balls there, it's next to impossible. So 
as we look at the stocks, uh, nothing big on mine. You know, I looked at my portfolio. It was a good day. You know, I saw a decent amount of green in the portfolios, but there are days where we are seeing, you know, tw you know, a ton, a 20% gainers, 10% gainers. Today, you can see it here, 1%, 1%, 1%. Neo up half a percent before their earnings. They're gonna have their earning thing call tonight, uh, which is at 9 p.m. tonight. We're gonna talk about that. DraftKings as well. So, you know, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary there, just a decent level. Uh, what I did want to show you, though, is the crude prices and stuff right here. We saw this, the spread between the two and 10 year spread out a little bit, went up to 21 basis points now. And uh, I know we were getting down to like 15 basis points. If this flips, I'm going to be very scared. It already flipped with the five year. Keep an eye on that. I'm going to keep bringing it up because it's important. And of course, the WTI dropped 3.5. Brent dropped 3.3. Remember I told you, I thought it would max out between 120 a barrel and 130 a barrel. Max out. I don't even know if we'll get there, but that's where I thought the top would be. And you will see that it's now back down to 110. Uh, Russia is, is doing this thing that they have to pay with rubles for gas to unfriendly nations out there. And so I'm watching all of it. it it's all... It's all being watched. We'll see how it plays out moving forward. Now, NEO, big news tonight. The NEO, we're going to talk about the NEO stock price prediction. For those invested, this is, uh, I, I always tell people you should watch NEO, Xpeng, Lee, BYD, Tesla even. To kind of put them all, you know, a lot of things going on over in China. We want to see the news out there. And because what you start to see is if, uh, like, with uh, NEO and Xpeng and Lee, that if one one is fact, if something's affecting one, it's usually affecting multiple companies over there. So I'm going to be interested in seeing how NEO comes out tonight. And that's 9 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, over in Hong Kong, is a 12-hour difference. So it'll be 9 a.m. their time on a Friday morning, but 9 p.m. here for us tonight. So I'm excited to see how that goes. I'm hoping, personally, what I'm hoping for is a timeline of when they believe they'll be able to ramp up production numbers up to some very high numbers we'll see you know uh, i know we talked about getting up to 25,000 vehicles produced uh, monthly and by the end of this year i would like to see a really good update on the timeline of increasing production and the new models and all that good stuff so we'll see i'm excited i got my popcorn ready i'll be sitting down tonight and uh taking uh, we'll be uh, listening to this and seeing how things go so we'll see now it wasn't a lot of movement today like i said a half percent up for neo i will say this i expect a move with the neo stock price tomorrow of five percent up or down and i gotta tell you you just don't know because if the market's red we could see a lot of red and it kind of amplifies it but if the market's green and this is a good report you're going to see a five percent or more gain so we just had a green day and all week it's been it's been red green red green using that pattern and it's just been the volatility in the market i would expect to see a little red tomorrow and you're going into the weekend which people usually are afraid of the weekend so we'll see if that's the case now if neo comes out and just slams it and just everything is perfect and everything's rolling up and they give us great uh great forward guidance i'm gonna love this and you're gonna see the stock doing more uh more runs up more popping and we'll find out now we'll look at the analysts and see what they think as well but as we move into it and you will see like i said neo over the last months up 3.58 the last five days has just been great 16.73 take a look at the bottom it was actually down in the 13s at one point this is now up 55 percent for those who had the gumption to get out there and pull the trigger down there and you have already made 55 percent in 10 days this thing is averaging a lot of gains uh daily so will it continue higher you know it's not even back up to where it was back on the 28th, under a month ago, it was a 2284. We're getting close. I think tomorrow, barring any unforeseen negativity with this, this report, we could see it get back above there. And uh, I'll be excited to see that. Look at this chart. You can see the, the big drop, the sell off of all Chinese shares. Now it's starting to go back. <clears throat> and so when people ask me, you know, is it too late to buy? Should we get in? 
you got to do your own due diligence on that. Personally, I feel very comfortable with this stock. I feel that the Chinese government is starting to make a concrete movement in getting companies to make sure they're ready for the audits and everything else that the U.S. is looking for. So as we look at the NEO stock price prediction out there, look what we got going on. Good things, man. The analysts have this thing at 141% upside potential. We know that there's a good chance of that happening down the road it's not a question it's like we're going to the beach are we going to get there absolutely we're going to get there i just went to penn state university last night and i got stuck in a traffic jam it took us 40 extra minutes we just basically stand still and that doesn't mean i'm not going to get to the destination the same thing with neo i hear people come out hey well this was supposed to be this price that price this price of course it is and it's not saying it's never going to get there in my opinion as they continue to expand and we see them get up to 25,000 vehicles monthly and then now we know oh wow annually that's over 300,000 and they're continuing to expand globally this company could get up to where it's making, you know, five, six hundred thousand, a million vehicles down the road as it starts to expand aggressively up through 2025. I highly expect that to be a destination they're striving to get to. If they can get to that level, profit margins are good. And we know uh, some of the things they're doing, subscriptions as a service, uh, that is going to be good. That That's like the icing on the cake for me. There's a lot of great things with Neo, And I think you're gonna see that happening. Are they gonna overtake everyone? No, I don't believe that. I believe Tesla already won uh, in that regards. And I believe Tesla is going to dominate. Thus why Tesla is my biggest position. But with a solid close number two is my Neo position. And the higher Neo goes, uh, the better chance it could have of overtaking it. But right now, Tesla outperformed again today, so it did increase that lead a little bit. It's kind of a race uh, between my two favorite horses. No matter what happens, uh, I feel like I'm gonna be a winner, and no matter which one finishes higher. Now, with Neo being you know, pushed down because of all the geopolitical stuff and everything else, I do believe it has a higher upside potential over the next year uh, in terms of percentage. So I would, I would think Tesla's gonna move higher, but I thought it would move up around you know, 25% based at the price it's at right now. But I think uh, NEO actually could double. And so that's how I'm kind of seeing it. But there's more risk with NEO. And so that's my my take on the NEO stock price prediction. So just a little update today. I thought everybody would, uh, you could use that. And it was a good day, nothing out of the ordinary. We got money being made, that is good. I'm not usually buying a ton of stocks on the green days. I like to see the big red days to buy. I got my cash ready for the next red day. It could be tomorrow. And so no matter what though, we'll be buying a ton of stocks on money so if you haven't done it yet uh, come down to the patreon click that link down there come over and join us and of course uh, you'll have that private discord where we're over there talking all the time and, of, and after that hit that moomoo link get a free share of of neo right now it's the last week we're down i think we're down to the last week to take advantage of this one dollar or more using my link you get a free share of neo put a hundred or more in, you get an xpung and a neo share and so that's what i would do it's almost 50 bucks in stocks uh well actually you know what i'm not pulling this up on the, the video but it's 22 bucks plus 29 it's over 50 dollars worth of stocks you're getting 51 dollars in stocks for putting a uh, hundred dollars in that's a 51 percent return instantly and uh take advantage of that and then of course the gemini link where you get 20 dollars in free bitcoin for trading 100 or more using the link down below they got sandbox over there which they don't have where you cannot buy it uh, and sell it at Coinbase, Robinhood, and Weeble. So once they allow that, I expect this thing to go through the roof. Uh, I'm talking more than doubling. So that's my opinion on that. So take advantage of, of seeing that fits for your portfolio. And of course, like I said, the Patreon's a big thing. I got Coinbase and BlockFi down below as well. Some great opportunities to get some, some free crypto over there too. So that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. Well, let's get out there and make some money.